Do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 10, 34-39 These words may sound rather harsh. Some see this passage as exaggerated or symbolic language. But in truth, Jesus speaks clearly and without compromise. If we put anyone or anything before him, we become unworthy of inheriting the kingdom. Jesus is not calling us to hate our families. He is calling us to love him even more. He knows that believing in him can cause deep and painful divisions among family members. Those who would choose the cross will suffer loss on some level, but these are all temporary losses of lesser goods. Losing Christ, on the other hand, is losing an eternal treasure. The Christian life is not easy, but it is joyful and fulfilling. The sword of division that our Catholic faith brings can be painful, especially in our world, where many see anything Christian in a negative light. But what the world views as loss is actually eternal gain for those who believe. When we face up to what living in the shadow of the cross means, we discover new life and a peace that surpasses all understanding or expectation. That peace empowers us to live our lives dedicated to the cause of the gospel. What division have you experienced because of your Catholic faith? What is the hardest thing about standing up for Christ in the modern world? How can you encourage a brother who may be struggling to take up his cross and follow Christ? I came to cast fire upon the earth, and would that it were already kindled. Luke 12, verse 49.